Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of Pablo Escobar, the notorious Colombian drug lord who at the height of his power had a net worth of $30 billion. But just how did he spend all that money? From maintaining his criminal empire to buying personal luxuries, we'll take a closer look at the lavish lifestyle of the man known as the King of Cocaine. So sit back, relax and get ready to discover the truth about Pablo Escobar's spending habits. One of the main ways Escobar spent his fortune was on maintaining and expanding his criminal empire. He bribed government officials and law enforcement officers to look the other way and used violence to eliminate any rivals who threatened his operation. He also spent a significant amount of money on building and maintaining a private army, which helped him maintain control over the drug trade in Colombia. Another way Escobar spent his money was on personal luxuries. He built himself a mansion, known as the Narco Palace, which was said to be one of the most opulent homes in South America at the time. He also owned several other properties, including a ranch, a hotel, and an island. He had a fleet of luxury cars and yachts, and he was known to throw lavish parties and entertain guests with expensive champagne and caviar. In addition to these expenses, Escobar also used his wealth to gain political power and influence. He reportedly spent millions of dollars on political campaigns and bribed politicians to ensure they would support his interests. He also used his wealth to control the media, buy newspapers and television stations to promote his image and silence any criticism of his criminal activities. Despite his ruthless and violent nature, Escobar also used his wealth to help the poor. He built houses, schools, and hospitals in the Medellin area, where he was born and raised. He also helped the poor people by providing them with food and other necessities, which endeared him to many of the local people. However, it is important to note that the vast majority of Escobar's wealth was obtained through illegal means, specifically the drug trade. He was responsible for the deaths of thousands of people and was involved in countless acts of violence and corruption. His spending habits, while opulent and extravagant, were also a reflection of his brutal and ruthless nature. In the end, Escobar's reign of terror came to an end when he was killed in a shootout with Colombian police in 1993. His wealth and influence may have been vast, but his legacy is that of a ruthless criminal who caused immeasurable harm to the people of Colombia. In addition to the aforementioned expenses, Escobar also spent a significant portion of his wealth on evading capture by law enforcement. He built a network of tunnels and safe houses, and he even had a team of engineers construct a runway on his ranch to allow him to fly in and out of the country undetected. He also employed a private security team to protect him and his family, and he was known to have multiple body doubles to confuse anyone trying to track him down. Another way Escobar spent his money was on indulging his love of animals. He built a private zoo on his ranch, which reportedly housed over 200 exotic animals, including lions, elephants, and even an hippopotamus. He was also known to have a passion for horses and was said to have a stable of thoroughbreds. Escobar also used his wealth to fund various charitable and philanthropic endeavors. He donated large sums of money to local churches and built schools and hospitals in poor areas. He also sponsored sports teams and provided funding for youth programs. He was known for his generosity towards the poor and was often referred to as Robin Hood by the people of Medellin. Despite his efforts to improve his image, Escobar's criminal activities eventually caught up with him. He was hunted by law enforcement agencies, both in Colombia and internationally, and he was eventually killed in a police shootout in 1993. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lives on. His wealth and influence were unparalleled, but so too was the destruction and violence he wrought. In conclusion, Pablo Escobar's $30 billion fortune was spent on maintaining and expanding his criminal empire buying personal luxuries, gaining political power and influence, evading capture, indulging his love of animals, helping the poor and charitable activities. But the most important aspect is that the source of his wealth was illegal, and his spending habits were a reflection of his brutal and ruthless nature. Despite his philanthropy, his criminal acts outweighed his charitable endeavors. Thanks for watching our video on Pablo Escobar's spending habits. We hope you learned something new about the notorious drug lord. 
From his criminal empire to his personal luxuries, it's clear that Escobar's wealth was vast, but his legacy is that of a ruthless criminal who caused immeasurable harm to the people of Colombia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next one.